Hi everyone! In this lesson, I'm going to show you some simple photo editing techniques that you can use to create very interesting effects in ProShow. Today, we're going to cut out parts of an image and create areas of transparency. Now this is a very basic effect and one you've probably seen before. As an example, here we have a photo of a baby surrounded with a border. Now let's double click to open the slide options and take a closer look at how this effect is put together. I'm using ProShow Gold here, but everything I'm going to show you will be exactly the same in Producer. In the layers list, you can see we have this photo border image. Now over here in the selected layer area, we see this checkerboard pattern. Now this tells us that these areas are transparent. And that means that the layer that appears beneath this photo border image will be visible in these areas. To see how that transparency works, if I hide this border image layer, we see the bright green background underneath. Now when I make the photo border visible again, all we see is the photo of the baby that appears within this area that we know is transparent. For the next step in this lesson, we need to use an image editor. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but if you don't have Photoshop, just note that these are very basic tools that can be found in just about any photo editing program. The first step is to create a copy of the layer. You can do that by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate Layer. To help me stay organized, I'm going to rename the layer. Next, uncheck the background layer. This is the key step that will create the transparency later on. Now as you can see here, we have a nicely defined area where the sky appears. Now because we have these nice straight lines, and pretty much the same color across the sky, for this photo, I'll use the magic wand tool. Now with the top layer selected, I'll click anywhere in the sky. Now as you can see, one click isn't enough to select all of the sky on the first try. So now I'll hold down the shift key and keep clicking the rest of the sky until everything is selected. And now from the top menu, select Edit, then Cut. Or use the keyboard shortcut, Control X. Now this will cut out the selection and reveal this checkerboard pattern underneath, which, as we learned earlier, indicates this part of the image is now transparent. The next thing we need to do is save this image in a format that will preserve the transparency and allow ProShow to see through this area. The two best formats to use are the Photoshop PSD format or to save this image as a PNG file. For this one, let's choose PSD. Now from the top menu, select File, then Save As. Choose PSD. Now locate a folder on your computer, then press Save. Now let's take a look at another way to cut out an area in Photoshop. First, duplicate the layer. Rename this to stay organized. Then hide the background. Now once again, I want to cut out the sky in this photo, but this time I don't have the same clean lines to work with. So instead of the magic wand, I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool here. This will allow me to use my mouse and draw the area I want to cut out. Now the really cool thing about this tool is that I can move my cursor. I can click and define a point manually, but as you can see, Photoshop is actually very good at figuring out what's happening in the photo. So in places like these rocks, I don't have to click very much. Photoshop can see what's going on and follow the contours very well. Now once I've defined the area, I'll go to the top menu, select Edit, then Cut. I didn't quite get everything cut out of this one, so to clean up these little spots, I'll select the Eraser tool, then do a little fine-tuning. 
Now this time, let's save this image as a PNG file. To do that, from the top menu, select File, and this time choose Save for Web. Now up here in the preset, choose PNG-24 from the drop-down menu. Now make sure this checkbox for transparency is selected. Now press Save. Name your file. Find a save location on your computer. Then press Save again. OK, now let's go back to ProShow and see how we can put these transparent layers to good use. Let's start with our first example of the building. Over here in the file list, you can see that I have the original images and the cutout images in the same folder. While that might be confusing at first, keep in mind that you can easily tell which one has the transparency just by looking at it. In this case, PSD files always show cutout transparent areas as black. When adding files to your show, if you're not sure if you have a PSD or PNG file selected, remember you can always see that information over here just below the main preview window. OK, let's drag this into the slide list to make a new slide, change the slide time, and then double click to open the slide options window. Now, just to verify that you have a transparent layer, with the layer selected over here in the selected layer area, you should see that checkerboard pattern. OK, this one looks good. So let's close this window and go back to the main workspace. Now for this slide, I want to add a new sky to replace the one I cut out earlier. So I'll click on this sunset image, then drag it down into the slide list. Now remember, to add this layer to the same slide, just press the control key before letting go of the left mouse button. Now let's double click and open the slide options window. In the layers list, we need to make sure the layer with transparency is on top. So click on the layer, then use the arrow key right here to move it up to the number one spot. Now right away, you'll see the sunset appear behind the building as a new sky. Now let's add some motion. Click on the Effects tab, and in the Layers list, make sure the sky is selected. Now in the starting position, I'll zoom in and move the sky around a little. Then I'll click on the ending position and do the same, but this time adding some rotation. Now let's click OK to save the changes and preview the slide to see how it looks. All right, let's do one more, this time using a video clip. This time I'll use this PNG image I made earlier. Now in the file list to help identify PNG files, ProShow will have pure white in the transparent areas of the image. Now let's drag that down to the slide list. Next, I'll go find a video clip and I'll add that to this slide. I'll add a little extra time and then double click to open the slide options window. Now once again, we need to make sure the layer with transparency is on top. So select the layer and use the arrow to move it up to the number one spot. Now I know this video already has some motion, so this time all I want to do is adjust the size and position. So I'll select the video layer, then click the Layer Settings tab, and move and resize the layer as needed. Now press OK to close the Slide Options window, and let's preview the slide. Working with transparent layers does take a few extra steps, but they can also open up a whole new world of creative options. That's it for this lesson. Be sure to visit our blog and check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.